Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tuke Sai. I'm Kushi, and today we will be solving Math Standard Set One Code Number Thirty Slash Five Slash One Series J B B Slash Five Class Ten. So in section A, question number one is on dividing a polynomial p of x by x square minus four, quotient and remainder are found to be x and three respectively. The polynomial p of x is. So we know that a is equal to b q plus r. So p of x is equal to x square y x square four x plus three. Therefore, it will give x cube minus four x plus three. And we have this in the options. That is option B. That is why option B is the correct answer. Now, question number two. In figure one, A B C is an isosceles triangle, right angled at C. Therefore, I already explained this question in set second video, so you can go and clarify your doubts regarding this question. And the answer for this is A. Next is question number three. The point on the x-axis which is equidistant from minus four comma zero and ten comma zero. I even explained these. All these are the same questions as set two. So the answer is D. For Or type question: The center of a circle whose end points of a diameter are minus six comma three and six comma four is answer is C. Next, the value of k for which the quadratic equation two x square plus x k x plus six is equals to zero has equal roots. For equal roots, we know that b square minus four ac is equals to zero. So when you will put the values, you will get the value for k to be Minus plus four because if something is in square over here, for example, b square, then when it will be transferred over there, it will have under root plus minus. It will have both the signs of plus and minus. That is why plus and minus four is the correct answer. Next question number five. So for this, you need to write t one comma t one minus d. So when you will see do that, you will find that c is not an AP. Next, the pair of linear equations. This linear equation is the answer is B con inconsistent. Consistent. If you want to know how the answer came, then you can check out the set two question answers video. Then question seven in figure two, PQ is a tangent to the circle with center O and at angle AOB is equals to hundred degree. Then angle ABP is equal to. We need to find angle ABP means we need to find this angle. So if You can see OB and OA. They both are radius of the circle. Means this is an isosceles triangle. Means angle AOB will be angle to OBA. So 180 minus 100 will be 80. So these both will be 80 upon 2. So this will also be 40. This will also be 40. And this is forming a tangent from point P. So this is 90 degree. Means 90 minus 40 is equal to angle ABP. Therefore, angle ABP. Is equals to fifty degree, right? So the answer is a fifty degree. Now next question number eight: the radius of a sphere in centimeter whose volume is twelve pi centimeter cube is the answer is c two by three. When you will solve this, you will get the answer two by three. Next question is the question number nine: the distance between the points p comma minus n and minus m comma n. The answer is C. If you want to know the answers, the explanations I am repeating, you can go to the video. I'll put the link in the description box. Question number ten is: In figure three, from an external point P, two tangents PQ and PR are drawn to a circle of radius four centimeter with center O. If QPR is equals to ninety degree, then length of PQ is. So when you will solve this, it will come to be a square. You need to join OR. This is a square with all angles equals to ninety degree. Therefore, four is equals to QP. That gives four centimeter is the correct answer. Next, fill in the blanks. Eleven. The probability of an event that is sure to happen is one because hundred percent gives the answer one. Question. Next question is simplest form of one plus tan square a upon one plus cos square a. Now they are asking you the simplest form. Means you need to simplify it till you can. So one plus tan square a is equals to one by cos square a. 
upon you will get 1 by sin square a which you can write as sin square a upon cos square a and sin square upon cos sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta tan theta therefore sin square a upon cos square a is equal to tan square a so this will be the simplest form of answer next question number 13 a o b c is a rectangle whose three vertices are a 0 comma minus 3 o 0 comma 0 and b 4 comma minus 4 comma 0 so you will find the answer 10 units because you need to use the distance formula to find the distance between a and b now in the formula x dash is equal to a plus fi ui upon therefore ui is equals to you know that ui is equal to di upon di upon h that is xi minus assumed mean upon h both answers can be right you can write any one of them this is 5 units. I by mistakenly pronounced that 10 units. It's 5 units. Next question is question number 15. All concentric circles are similar to each other. Concentric circles are always similar to each other. The circles which have same point from which their radius starts is known as the point of uh, is are known as the concentric circles. Now find the sum of the first. 100 natural numbers, I already explained it in set 2, it is 5050 by formula S of n is equal to n upon 2 a plus l. In figure 4, question number 17, in figure 4, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point C on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower, you will do that sin 30 so you will get sin 31 upon root 3 is equal to 30 is equals to O upon A. A is 30 meter. If you want a proper explanation, I am repeating, you can go to the set 2 video. That will be 30 root 2 root 3. When you will rationalize this, you will get 10 root 3. The answer is 10 root 3 meter. Next question is the LCM of an of two numbers is 182 and their HCF is 13. If one of the number is 26, find the other number. You need to put it in the formula. LCM is equals to product of numbers. You can take that AB upon HCF. When you will put the values of day 26, LCM 182 and HCF 13, you will get the answer 51. Sorry, you will get the answer 91. That is the answer for, for the question. Next question is question number 19. Form a quadratic equation. The sum and the product of whose zeros are minus 3 and 2 respectively. So when you will put this in the formula k is equal to x square minus alpha plus beta plus a b you will you will get the answer x square plus 3x plus 2. This will be the required quadratic polynomial. And for this you need to divide x raised to 4 minus 3x square plus 5x minus 9 by x square plus 3 and you need to show that. Okay. Now evaluate. You need to evaluate this. So 2 into tan 45 is 1 into cos 60 is 1 by 2 upon sin 30 is 1 by 2 which will give us 4 plus 1 upon 2 upon 1 by 2 which will give us 5 upon 2 into 2 upon 1 therefore 2 2 will get cancelled and the answer is 5 so this was the solution for section a you will be solving the further sections in the next video thank you for watching my video